I am trying to define what mental health means to me. I feel like my life is a whirlwind and I'm being pulled in so many different directions. I think that's why I decided that I wanted to do this. Anything that is a cultivator of joy, that's where I want to be at. And running could very much be one of those things. <laughs> Storm came to me at three years old and said, Mommy, I want to be on TV and I want to be a superstar. I decided before coming to California that I would take her to New York, because I feel like if you can go through that grind, then she could do California. At that point, I was nine, or I was turning nine, because I had my ninth birthday in New York. I had $300 and a EBT card. No money to do anything but go to the library and wait for the phone to ring for an audition. In the audition I had, um, we would like walk. So we would walk blocks and blocks and blocks and blocks. That was what that time in our life was. When I think about my mom, it's a human personification of like, I can do anything. Storm is not perfect, right? She's a typical teenager, and she gets frustrated. She gets overwhelmed, especially being a, you know, college student. I know you have a tendency to, like, hold everything in and try to handle it, but you need to know that, like, we're here for you. I tend to be in the moment, but I'm also thinking about what I have to do next. Like, oh, I'm here on set today, but like, oh, I have a midterm tomorrow. You have to take care of yourself first. And that's just the most important thing. If it feels good, then we're good. If something doesn't feel good. We don't do it. We don't do it. Even though I am in the stages of trying to figure out what mental health means to me, I know that what helps my mental health is moving. But I am not a runner. I run on the treadmill. I've never really experienced actually running, actually going outside for a run. So to be able to add something new into my routine that is a little challenging is really exciting. Since you're just kicking things off with your training routine, a little sort of reminder that running is a repetitive exercise. Okay. So you're using the same body parts, mm -hmm. muscles, right. right, in the same way over and over again. Mm -hmm. I feel privileged to introduce people to running. Uh, and I really want uh, anyone that starts things off with me to enjoy it and love it for life. What are some of the things that like generally bother you or, or make you feel tight? I, I don't know. I always say I'm 19 with 90-year-old knees. <laughs> uh, what? No. I'm so excited to work with Storm. She's got a very busy schedule. Okay. And I want to make sure that whatever program we sort of create together, it's something she can take with her. The reason that I really like to stretch before I run is because it gives me a moment to kind of just check in with how I feel, yeah. honestly. A little self-care before the, the actual self-care. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. OK, this is not bad. See? Good stuff. Perfect. Boom. Look at all this coordination. I know. Look at us. I'm usually, like, the clumsiest <laughs> person I know. Uh, me too. <laughs> Your form looks really good. Okay. Your shoulders aren't too high up. They're nice and relaxed. Uh, yeah, try to be relaxed. Yeah, yes. Your hands are not too tight. Like, you're looking great. Thank you. It's important to be able to always fall back on running as a tool to help manage your mental health and 
ownership of your body and how you feel about yourself and how that's the most important thing. Being able to like go take that run or go on a jog or be outside kind of lets me take a break from like, okay, you don't have to worry about that right now. Like just take this 30 minutes, take this 45 minutes, take this 15 minutes for yourself and then come back and figure out everything that you have to do. I never imagined you running or enjoying running. I never imagined me running. <laughs> but I mean, you, you like another thing that you wanted to do and you did it. I've always thought of running like either run on the treadmill or like running is just completely, utterly exhausting. Yeah. But to be able to like pace yourself and then again be in a space to where like you just take it all in and you're able to take a moment for yourself is a, a really beautiful thing. <laughs>